All right, so here we are, we're trying to figure out some unknowns here. So before we do that, let's look at a situation. Here's air going into water. And so we fire the laser, we see some reflect, some refract, we get out our protractor and we confirm with ourselves the angle of incidence is about 45 degrees. So when it goes from air to water, its angle is about 45, but then when it hits the water, its angle of refraction, remember we always measure from the normal is about 30. So its angle gets smaller. So water, remember, is thicker, it's more dense, so light's gonna travel more slowly in here. And so again, if we draw this out the way we've been doing, if these are the light rays, the rays, this end hits the water first, so we can think of it as slowing down or almost stopping. This side's gonna keep going for a while, and so that's why it turns this way. If it didn't refract, it would keep going along this path. And so we say this reflects towards the normal. So it's going into a slower medium and it reflects towards the normal. On the other hand, we have situations where if we flip this, so if we put water on top and air on the bottom and did this again, now we see that it's 45 degrees and then it goes to about 66 degrees. So the exact opposite is happening. So we have our lines this side hits the air first. Remember, if it hits air, it picks up speed. So it's gonna rotate and go this way. And again, this was the regular path it was supposed to take. So the refraction is away from the normal. So if you go to a faster medium, you go away. So remember, slower medium, you're gonna to go towards the normal. And if you end up going to a faster medium, you're gonna go away from the normal. So ST, they go together, QRST, FNA. Again, it's a note that follows so. Uh, so anyway, that's that's one way of thinking about this. So now, how do you find out the unknowns? So what you got to do is play around a little bit. So let's say I put unknown one on the bottom, and I put air. Well, let's just use water on the top, sure. And let's try this out. And when I do this, okay, it gets some refraction. So water, the angle of um, incidence is about 45, but in unknown number one, it is about 26. So we say, okay, is this a thicker substance in water or is it a thinner substance in water? So again, if I wanna draw this out, here are the waves. Somehow this is bending like this. This is the side that's turning. So that means this must be going faster than this side. This must be coming to a, a slower point so it can pivot, so it can kind of travel like this. So that means this must be a slower medium. And again, if we need more evidence, a slower medium it's gonna to refract toward the normal. So if the normal, the regular direction was this, that's not perfectly straight, but you get the idea. This new refracted line is closer to the normal line here. So this must be a thicker medium than water. And water's end value is 1.33. So in this case, unknown number one must be thicker. And so its end value must be greater than 1.33. And so that's sort of what we get from this. And now you play around and you test out different substances and sort of see how that works. Um, so maybe you test oil in unknown number one or you test diamond in unknown number one. And basically C is the unknown number one, again, thicker, is it a slower medium or a faster medium? And then you're gonna to try to get an estimate of the end value based on that. So you're just gonna play around with these as best you can. And then eventually you're gonna to have to come to a guess. There are ways to calculate an exact value using a trigonometry, which we're not gonna deal with. We're just trying to estimate it. So that's it. Give that a shot and I'll see you soon.